Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today is Friday in the 34th week in Ordinary Time. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and, and my, my mouth, mouth shall, shall declare, declare your praise. praise. Come, let us praise the Lord. In him is all our delight. Come, let us praise the Lord. In him is all our delight. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, Come let us praise the Lord. In him is all our delight. The Lord is God, the mighty God the great king over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come, let us praise the Lord. In him is all our delight. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Come, let us praise the Lord. In Him is all our delight. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us praise the Lord. In Him is all our delight. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I saw in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us praise the Lord, in him is all our delight. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us praise the Lord, in him is all our delight. Please be seated. A humble, contrite heart, O God, you will not spurn. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. O wash me more and more for my, from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight, I have done. That you may be justified when you give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. O see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed you love truth in the heart, then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O purify me, then I shall be clean. O wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help. With the spirit of harbor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight. Burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice a contrite spirit. A humble, contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness your favor to Zion. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice. Holocausts offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Even in your anger, Lord, you will remember compassion. 
O Lord, I have heard your renown and feared, O Lord, your work. In the course of the years, revive it. In the course of the years, make it known. In your wrath, remember compassion. God comes from Timon, the Holy One from Mount Paran. Covered are the heavens with his glory, and with his praise is the earth filled. His splendor spreads like the light, rays shine forth from beside him, where his power is concealed. You come forth to save your people, to save your anointed one. You tread the sea with your steeds, amid the churning of the deep waters. I hear, and my body trembles. At the sound, my lips quiver. Decay invades my bones, my legs tremble beneath me. I await the day of distress, then I will become upon the people who attack us. For though the fig tree blossom not, nor fruit be on the vines, though the yield of the olive fail, and the terraces produce no nourishment, though the flocks disappear from the fold, and there be no herd in the stalls, yet will I rejoice in the Lord, and exalt in my saving God. God my Lord is my strength. He makes my feet as sweet as those of hinds, and enables me to go upon the heights. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O praise the Lord Jerusalem. O praise the Lord Jerusalem. Zion, praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates, he has blessed the children within you. He has established peace on your borders. He feeds you with finest wheat. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. He showers down snow white as wool. He scatters o'er frost like ashes. He hurls down hailstones like crumbs. The waters are frozen at his touch. He sends forth his words and it melts them. At the breath of his mouth, the waters flow. He makes his word known to Jacob, to Israel his laws and decrees. He has not dealt thus with other nations. He has not taught them his decrees. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Stir up the will of your faithful, we pray, O Lord, that is striving more eagerly to bring your divine work to fruitful completion. They may receive in greater measure the healing remedies your kindness bestows. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw an angel come down from heaven, holding in his hand the key to the abyss and a heavy chain. He sees the dragon, the ancient serpent, which is the devil or Satan, and tied it up for a thousand years and threw it into the abyss which he locked over and sealed so that it could no longer lead the nations astray until the thousand years are completed. After this, it is to be released for a short time. Then I saw thrones. Those who sat on them were entrusted with judgment. I also saw the souls of those who had been beheaded for their witness to Jesus and for the word of God, and who had not worshipped the beast or its image, nor had accepted its mark on their foreheads or hands. They came to life and they reigned with Christ for a thousand years. Next, I saw a large white throne and the one who was sitting on it. The earth and the sky fled from his presence, and there was no place for them. I saw the dead, the great and the lowly, standing before the throne, and scrolls were opened. Then another scroll was opened, 
the book of life. The dead were judged according to their deeds by what was written in the scrolls. The sea gave up its dead, then death and Hades gave up their dead. All the dead were judged according to their deeds. Then, then death and Hades were thrown into the pool of fire. This pool of fire is the second death. Anyone whose name was not found written in the book of life was thrown into the pool of fire. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. The former heaven and the former earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. I also saw the holy city, a new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Here God lives among his people. Here God lives among his people. My soul yearns and pines for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. Here God lives among his people. Even the sparrow finds a home and the swallow a nest in which she puts her young. Your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Here God lives among his people. Blessed they who dwell in your house, continually they praise you. Blessed the men whose strength you are, they go from strength to strength. Here God lives among his people. Please stand. Stand erect and raise your heads, because your redemption is at hand. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples a parable. Consider the fig tree and all the other trees. When their buds burst open, you see for yourselves and know that summer is now near. In the same way, when you see things, these things happening, know that the kingdom of God is near. Amen, I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Jesus, in our gospel, continues his preaching on the theme of the end of times. He is telling his listeners about signs which would happen before the kingdom of God finally comes. The crown of these signs is when all of these things in this world will have come to pass. The mere thought of ending of something good or beneficial for us is already distressing, for some disturbing, even horrifying. Nakakatakot po kapag ang pinag-uusapan ay tungkol sa katapusan ng isang bagay na mainam, katapusan ng isang bagay na pinaghirapan, pinagpaguran, pinag-imbesan sa buhay. Kasi bawat katapusan, may kalakip na pamamaalam. At bawat pamamaalam, ang ibig sabihin, 
may lilisan, may mawawala. Brothers and sisters, our gospel reminds us today that whenever we feel that things are falling apart for us in our lives, that there are things that even death and destruction cannot pass. There are things that even death and destruction cannot touch. Our Lord said, Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall remain forever. Jesus here promises us of His continuous presence in our lives. Hindi niya tayo iiwan. Our responsorial psalm further reinforced this. Here, God lives among His people. Mga kapatid, mahirap ang buhay. And sooner or later, makaka-encuentro tayo ng mga problema that would shake our lives to the core. We are being reminded today that Jesus did not promise that our journey would be easy. But He did promise that He would be with us every step of the journey. Have faith. You are not alone. You are never alone. You belong to God. Friends, be blessed. Be a blessing. Please stand. The Lord Jesus has called us to watch for the day of His return. Let us come to the Father in prayer, watching and waiting for His return. For every petition, our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer, that the Church may respond to the call of her confession and renewal. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer, that people of goodwill may work together to put an end to war and hatred, oppression and injustice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer, that we may increase our awareness of the presence of Christ among the poor and the suffering people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That the sick may be given strength and hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For vocations and the needs of the province, and for our brothers and ministry, at St. John Lateran and St. Albert the Great. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawak and for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that our friends and relatives who have died may experience everlasting joy in the company of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. Almighty God, listen to our prayers. Open our eyes to your presence all around us. Make us closer to you each day. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of divine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. 
Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, the sacred offerings which at your bidding we dedicate to your name. And in order that through these gifts we may be worthy of your love, grant us unfailing obedience to your commands. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, the Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in your goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voice as we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Pinalpala ang naparirito sa hala ng Panginoon. O sana, o sana sa karitasan, sa kaitaasan, sa kaitaasan. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Si Cristo ay namatay Si Cristo ay namuhay Si Cristo ay babalik Sa wakas ng pan 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please all stand. Let us pray like Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
please stand. Through the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Through the tender, tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that those to whom you give the joy of participating in divine mysteries may never be parted from you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the Blessing of the Sick God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, Feed them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oils, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.